Autonomy is an illusion. It's the XS8 Corolla. Look at it. Don't it just begs for the aftermarket? Look at the lines on it. You know? Look how this line here, starting from the tail light, goes all the way around, disappears right above the door handle, and then this line here goes all the way up and kind of disappears right over the front fender. That's crazy. Just, just blends right in. Look at that aggressive front end. Look at how those headlights look. Look at that grill. Just bags turbocharger. Now I would love to see uh, a supercharged or turbocharged CRD version of this. I know it's fairly new to the market. You gotta excuse the wind. It's a windy, windy cloudy day here in uh, DFW. All right, thank you, Jesus. See, Lord's always looking out for me. We were able to get this open. So look at this. Look at this white on black interior. This is soft touch. Not really leather. Call it leather's cousin, but it still looks good. And on the seats here, you got the cloth here with the leather. I like it. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. Bolstering seems good. Like I said, this is a sport, so it wouldn't be no hard cornering seats. Um, but let's step inside. Now that we're inside, this is nice. The seats uh, could be a little bit more supportive. But like I said, this is a sport. Not a uh, performance. So that's the way I'm looking at it. The XSC is more of a sport than performance top of the line uh, Corolla or Toyota's top of the line vehicle other than the TRD models but I do love this piano black here look at that I, I see you Toyota with the piano black the gray and black interior this is nice this is more I've seen a lot of this lately. Um, it seems like um, there's a bunch of different iterations of this. Uh, Nissan has their version. Honda has their version. And I guess this is Toyota's version. Um, but it comes actually from the Germans. Um, sort of a version of what Audi did at some point. Audi's version like this. Remember how it used to pop up. But it looks similar to this. Not exactly like it but similar. Um, got a nice big what looks like uh, probably a 8 inch screen got the buttons here I don't have the key the key is locked up I didn't want the key I uh, don't need the key um, I'm not test driving it so I don't really need the key but I can give you a feel on how the interior looks the seat feels comfortable um And the the shift the throw is kind of long, but it's not bad. Six B. The throw is kind of long, but you know it's at the market takes shape. We'll definitely see some short shifters. As you can see on the steering wheel, you have your parking sensors, you have your cruise control, the mode for the stereo, then you have your phone and adaptations over there, your volume control, the speed so you can talk to it. Um, Toyota does not have Android Auto, but they do have Apple CarPlay. I'm an Android guy, so. I would need my Android Auto. There's a small digital screen. I don't know if you can see it. 
Uh, it looks like maybe a six inch screen. No, maybe more than that. Six, seven inch screen with the analogs on the left and right. You can't really see it. Maybe just a little bit. Let me see if I can zoom in. Uh, just a little bit. Not much. But this is nice. I The piano black. You have your uh, parking brake here. Looks like, uh, I want to say maybe traction control. Oh, that's traction control. I don't know what that is. Got your white leather here. The hard plastic here. Hard plastic where it needs to be. Where you're not touching. Hard plastic there. But this is such an evolution of what you used to get five years ago. Hell, even last generation. Two years ago. It's such an evolution evolutionary jump you got your soft touch here see back in the day this was all hard plastic all hard plastic but now it's I'm gonna call it pleather no I don't think it's leather I don't think they're gonna spend that kind of money on um, even though it's top of the line um, entry-level vehicle I don't think they would spend that kind of money on it um, but it's my god that's a look good she looks good so you know while we're here let's check out the trunk should be a way to open the trunk from here and if you see it and I don't see it like a USB maybe a USB port here I don't see how to open the trunk from here so I'm gonna do it this way lots of space nice hatchback as you can see, all of the seats fold. Excuse the wind. Um, I don't have the directional mic on. All of the seats fold underneath here. Donut. All your setups there. Hopefully you know how to change a tire. Most people in this generation don't. But you do lose some storage space, I guess, because of how it slants forward. But I don't mind that because you get the look. And I'm going to check out the back seat for now. Let me move my mic out of the way. Alright, back seat is tight, but I was able to fit. But once you're back here, it's adequate enough. Short distance uh, around the city, maybe a few hours back here, you'll be fine. Um, I wouldn't want to do cross country back here, that would suck. But uh, this is just a better shot of that interior. As you can see, it's come a long way. Long, long way. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.
Now, another thing I didn't tell you earlier, um, with the door closed, it's actually pretty quiet. I don't know how quiet it'll be going down a road with the no road noise and um, things of that nature, but uh, it's pretty quiet. And wow, like I said, I think this if we can get the if we can get the out the market to take notice. So in other words, we need enough people to buy this car and start bugging companies like Greddy and and. Um, um, Turbonetics and, and companies like that to make aftermarket parts for this. So bugging them about it, and that's the only way it's gonna it's gonna take off, at least in the aftermarket. But I I do hope this car sells. This is a very very beautiful car. And my opinion, I would buy this over a small crossover. Why do you need a small crossover? Because you want to set up high? I digress. I mean, that's that's a video for another day. Because um, in all honesty, all honestly, uh, most small crossovers have no more room than this. Really, they don't. But man, just look at this. Look at that. I didn't even pay attention to that. You see how... The line goes across right there, then it just circles around like boom. Look at that nice design element and how the stitching just goes up and just breaks up the line so it's not so bland and plain looking. Look at that. Then they got the same thing, the same line goes across that bead goes and it just use around right there. Look at that man. Toyota hatchbacks in general, small economy cars in general. Man, they come a long way. Me, I like small cars. I don't like big, big cars. That's just me. I like my medium to small cars. I like cars to feel nimble. But man, look at this. this is just ooh. the piano black with the white and the black. Whoever chose that, that did a great job. great great job all right let's take a look at the uh, engine real quick and this ladies and gentlemen is the jewel and the brains of the bunch if I could figure out how to open it there she goes there's no hydraulics line so we have this here That there, which holds it up. This is the jewel that's begging to be turbocharged. See, they got a short intake that's supposed to help with a little bit of a uh, torque. Very clean engine setup, though. Engineers is very thoughtful. Exhaust is on the back side. Oh, and there's plenty of space back there for a turbo. See if you can see that. Yep, plenty of space for a turbo. Or, or if you decided to go uh, pro charge, you know, snail on a stick space up here for that but man she's she's it's a nice nice clean setup nice clean setup is that a filter some sort of air filter oh it is okay Beautiful, beautiful setup. 